M0FXB, welcome to my channel and today we're looking at the Ulafone Armour 20WT and WT stands for walkie talkie. Now we do look at these from a ham radio point of view as you can see here uh, to see what we think. Now this is a UHF DMR radio but also an Android device. Uh, looking at the specifications that are written onto the box here. Let's have a good close up look. IP68, we have a, a rear camera and front camera, 5.6 display, so it's quite a big device and it's quite a weight to this box. Also we have 128 GB RAM, 256 GB ROM, I think it's a 2, is it a 2.3, um, uh, the, the processor, we'll have a close look. Very big battery, 10, is it 1050? 1050 is that, uh, 33 watt fast charge, and it has NFC and lots of other functions as well. So let's uh, just take it out of the box. First time I, I haven't opened this box yet, so it, it did come very well packaged in clear film as well. I got here all the way from China in a couple of weeks. So what do we have here? Ulaphone instruction booklet set here, nicely packaged. What do we have here? These are like the, the sort of rubber grommets that go at the top when, when you put the antenna in, I think. That's what that looks like. Got the strap, carry strap. Nice thick carry strap, that's good. Phone charging advice, warranty card. Quite a few booklets here, multi-function function instructions. Oh, that's like a, a sort of quick instruction thing. Intercom guide, is that, yeah, that'll be the DMR side and the analyst DMR and analog radio. So there, that's gonna help. And you can see that even in the photograph there, you've got a picture where the antenna goes or photo. Big manual, half English, half not English. Seems okay. Oh yeah, you, they always include a screen protector. Let's take that out there. With a nice Ulaphone tempered glass screen protector. I think there's actually a screen protector on it as well. That's nice, that's almost like a phone itself. Hello. Anyway, um, and so now for the actual device. Oh, it's quite a big device. Bigger than I expected. Let's see if I can slide it out. Wow, it's almost, I would say, it's almost like a mini tablet, I would say. That's a, that's a, a big device. Let's have a look here. So that's the on off button screen there, which we will take the top one off, like so. You see me, and there is a, still a screen protector on there already. Big PTT, very big, up and down volume. I know it's USB-C charging. What does it say on the back? Ulaphone, NFC, but all our serial number, we, we could peel that off. Camera at the back, let's see if we can get to the grommet, type C charging grommet here. Not too bad. Actually, it came off quite easy, the grommet. IP68, apparently. And the antenna, there it is there, is going to screw here. Let's just find, see what chargers we've got in the box. Lift this out. Okay. USB-C charging, screw for taking off the, on the back for putting in your SIM card ETC. You take off these four here, these four, and then you can put in your SD card and your, on your mobile phone SIM card as well. Charger, looks like it's got the twin pin charger. 
screwdrivers and then there's your little antenna there for the actual device let's put that on let's just undo it mm, looks like i need something bigger bigger for that all right we just used a coin we'll just screw the antenna in here so the antenna's on there let's turn it on for the first time quite bright there you go click start you can start to connect your wi-fi and all that we'll get that logged into our wi-fi right we've turned the phone on and we've got a swipe down menu here um, it's, it's, it's actually very responsive, quite happy with how responsive it is. Now we're going to do some full tests. I do test this from the point of view of, of a ham radio operator, but at the moment you can see we've got Bluetooth, we've connected Wi-Fi. If we swipe up, it's a bit like a back button. So I've got Peanut here. No, it's Echolink. We've got Echolink here and we're going to add Peanut as well for hams. Looks fine, looks like that would work well. I'll just set up the PTT. We just push it here, nice big PTT there. On air, look. M0FXB, test, test, test. Oh, and then what happens? Now this is what we've got to configure, is that the radio part, the DMR and analog radio part does jump in, but we've got to work out how we're gonna change that as well. But it's very responsive, very fast, and I, I listened to the speaker audio, that was good. Let's try Zello. Like so, we'll go to zero three, look at some history. That's probably me. Go back. We can tap the screen, or we, if I press the PTT at the moment, it is bringing forward the, 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 the PTT apps. We need to work out how to disable that, but if I tap the screen, Nice and loud, really good speaker, M0 FXP test. Um, and if I go to history. FXP test. There you are, let's turn it up a bit. Let's do that again. So lots nice to learn. Really good speaker, M0 FXP test. Yeah, it actually sounded a little bit more bass here just now when I tested it. Let's have a look what other apps we got here. Swipe up. YouTube, you know, Messenger, Instagram, all those kind of things. The PTT app actually looks like this. Intercom look, channels, contacts, messages. So a bit to learn there. Equilink we saw, Peanut we've seen. So I'll do some deeper testing soon. I've literally just turned this on, as you, as you can tell. It looks like you've got a voice recorder there. So thanks for watching my channel. It's very good quality item. I look at this like a big tablet, you know, instead of just using your phone, you can have this on, you can listen to your all-star node, which I've got here at home. You can listen to a talk group, hopefully, uh, or you've got a nice big screen, nice big solid here with, you know, with that radio sort of feel, PTT, and you can sort of play radio, play mobile phone all at the same time. Bye for now, 7-3.